Ahoy everyone! This week I'm doing my first viewer requested reviews, so I'm talking about the Puffco Budsy and the Grav Aluminum Dugout. Hey, let's just pretend that I have some really cool intro music. First, let's talk about the Budsy by Puffco. And I can hear what you're saying. That's just a water bottle. Why are you even talking about it on your channel, stupid? Well, first of all, you got a lot of nerve talking to me that way. And second of all, it's actually a secret water pipe. So you're the stupid one. The Puffco Budsy costs between $50 and $70, depending where you get it. And when I got mine, it wasn't assembled quite correctly, but you couldn't tell just by looking at it. So the first few hits I took from it were the worst of my life. No joke. They were worse than a dirty bat. It was terrible. The other thing I noticed when I first bought it was the lid here is not fitted correctly. There's overhang on this side, and this side doesn't go out far enough. I have actual OCD, so that bothers me more than it should. I'm on medication and my OCD is under control, but I notice it a lot, especially when I'm taking the lid off or putting it on, that it just doesn't quite fit right. The other thing I found out the hard way is if you leave this tipped on its side or upside down, it will leak water, and this water is stinky, so you don't want that to happen. Between all of that, the Puffco Budsy and I did not get off to a great start, but that's why I do a minimum of two weeks of testing, because I found out a lot more about this thing afterward. So let's talk about the basic form and function of the Puffco Budsy. Obviously, it's designed to look like a regular water bottle, and it does a really good job of that. And it's also a common water bottle, so people are more likely to overlook it. In fact, this water bottle is so common, I found one just like it when I was walking my dogs. So how do you use it as a water pipe? Well, it's actually pretty easy. First thing you do is unscrew the lid, and from there you're gonna find out that there's a little straw, and underneath the straw, there is a bowl in a little storage compartment. You take the bowl out, put it into the intake, and you're ready to go. That's all it takes. I was wondering if all that camouflage affected the smoking experience, and it does somewhat, because this is silicone and plastic and ceramic for the bowl, as opposed to being glass. Glass does smoke better. It gives you a better taste. The closest thing I found in my collection that has a similar smoke experience is this silicone bubbler that I have. This cost me about $25, so you are paying a lot for the camouflage aspect of it. When it comes to the Puffco Budsy, the most important piece is also the smallest, and that would be the ceramic bowl. My first problem with it is it's textured on the outside, so it actually kind of gets stuck in the intake, and when you've got a full lung full and you're ready to clear it, and you can't get that out as easily as you should, that can be annoying. Now, it's a regular 14 millimeter, so it's replaceable by a standard bowl, but the standard bowl won't fit in the little carrying part, so that kind of defeats the purpose. Because it's ceramic, I noticed a little bit of a taste. I think a lot of people wouldn't notice that at all. Um, the other odd thing with it is the design itself. It's deeper and narrower than a standard bowl, which means cornering it is more difficult. When you're burning your flour, it goes down quickly, so you end up getting much bigger hits than you expect. So when you first try this, do smaller hits. The other annoyance I have is the size of the hole in the bowl. I find that that size gets clogged easily, and once it's clogged, you inhale deeper so you can unclog it, and then the clogged material just ends up in your water floating around. Believe it or not, there is an unintentional carb built into this. If while you're inhaling you need a little bit of fresher air, you just lean forward and that will actually allow in some fresh air while you're inhaling. Pull it back and it goes straight back into the smoke. I don't care what Puffco says, that was not intentional, but they are definitely going to say it's a feature, not a bug. Since this is a water pipe, we're going to have to talk about cleaning. It's actually pretty easy to clean this. You just unscrew the top and then this silicone piece comes right off and you can soak these in isopropyl alcohol for up to 30 minutes. I personally just use a wipe with isopropyl alcohol on it to make sure that I don't actually damage anything. I'm not gonna bother putting that back together right now. So let's talk about the disability friendliness. I personally was expecting this to be a little more disability friendly than it ended up being. Um, if you have trouble with your hands, first off, that's going to be difficult to take out. The bowl 
really does like to get stuck in there. And that's going to be a problem if you have trouble with hand strength or you have trouble with just dexterity with your hands. Um, like I said, you can use a separate bowl, but then that defeats the purpose because this whole thing is just about the camouflage. So at that point, you may as well just go get a bubbler like this for cheaper. Now let's talk about the pros and the cons of the Puffco Budsy. Obviously the first big pro is the camouflage. This really looks like a water bottle. And I'm told the markings on the side are actually accurate for how much water is in there. Another big pro is that this is a portable water pipe that you can leave the water in. Like you can be on the city bus and then you get off at your stop and then boom, you got your medicine ready to go. And then when you're done, you store it and everything's fine. So that's pretty great. The other thing that I love is you can fill it with a lot of water or just a little water. I personally prefer a lot of water for my experience. And considering that it's plastic and silicone, this doesn't smoke terrible for what it is. Now let's talk about the cons. It is a little difficult to put the silicone downspout back into the top part. And you can see here it's not lined up right which means I didn't put it in quite right. So it's not gonna smoke well if I try to smoke it right now. Another problem is that it does leak that really nasty smelling water if it's on its side or upside down for too long. It also smokes much better with a different bowl, but that defeats the purpose of the whole compact all-in-one camouflaged unit. The other thing I noticed is no matter how well I clean it with isopropyl alcohol, there is still a smell and a taste of a dirty water pipe. It's not that bad, and I'm sure if you used one of those plastic and silicone safe flavored or scented cleaners, it would go away, but I'm only using isopropyl alcohol, and no matter how thoroughly I clean it, it still tastes a little dirty. So overall, I would say the Puffco Budsy is definitely a win if you're looking for something portable and something that's camouflaged. If those two aspects aren't important to you, then this is way overpriced. You could get this nice silicone bubbler for half the price and it hits a little bit better. Now let's talk about the Grav Aluminum Dugout. I've done a video about dugouts in general, but this is a specific review for this specific dugout. So the Grav Aluminum Dugout is about $60. It comes in this nice box and it also comes with this weird zippered pouch that fits the dugout, but it's aluminum so it doesn't need to be protected and this offers no protection anyway, and it's not discreet because it says grav right on there. So I guess you get a neat zippered pouch with it. Uh, it's a twist top with a nice spring bat, and you can see there's actually a poker built into the bottom of it. The grav only opens in one direction. If you try to open it the other direction, it simply won't open. And my biggest problem is that it doesn't open all the way. That makes it a lot harder to load up and pack in your flour. On mine, it came with actually a little chip in the paint. And you can see there, this chip has actually grown. And if you look carefully, you can see some other spots along the top where it's worn down a little bit. So the paint isn't going to last forever on this, but that's okay because the body is gonna last a long time. When it comes to the Grav Dugout, the actual star of the show is the bat. So let's talk about it. The bat has these notches cut into it. Those are its teeth. I'm used to the pointier teeth. Those do work better than these, but these still work pretty well. The big star of this bat though is how wide the opening is. The only place that it narrows is right at the bottom of the bowl, which is why you only need that short little poker right there that's built into the bottom of the dugout. And if you look, you'll see there's a post next to the poker. That's actually designed to clean out the sides of the bowl when you put it in. You just twist it and that'll clean out the sides and poke out anything in the middle. I actually never had this thing clogged very much. I had to clean it because it started getting a weird flavor before I had to clean it because it was clogging. It's 10 bucks to replace on their website, which is cool. I thought, hey, this is gonna be my new standard bat. They made it too thick to fit in a standard dugout. It is basically proprietary. That's my only problem with the bat, is it's too big to fit in another dugout. So let's talk about the pros and the cons of the Grav dugout. First of all, it's aluminum, so it's super strong, but it has on the side this viewing port so you can see how much flour is in there so you know quickly when you need to reload. Obviously, 
having this bat is a huge pro because it's so well designed. And the fact that this bat means that you have a poker that is built in and you can't lose it, that's another big plus for me. Also, this thing holds way more flour than I expected for its size. You can see it's pretty narrow, it's pretty compact, but this holds more than a day of flour for me. So that's the Grav Aluminum Dugout. Overall, I would call this a win. I'm glad I added it to my collection, and it's going to be one of my new regular dugouts that I use. That bad is amazing, but the $60 price tag is more than some people want to pay, and if you get annoyed by how difficult it is to load a dugout, this thing's gonna piss you off. Well, that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and if there's something you want me to test, leave it in the comments below, and I will test it for at least two weeks before giving it a review. The video's now over. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you.